No, in my own case, two things really happened, really in my own case. One was that I next told us that accreditation will start by eight. In my case, accredita in my constituency, that's how they are not. Accreditation voting did not start till about 2, 3 p.m. When election voting is supposed to have ended at 2.30 p.m. by right, then that's a fact. Also, after that, collation should be at the RA, that is the world level. That was not done. You came to the, to the what do you call it, the local government level. But that is even one. The second aspect was that about 100 units, election was still on to be conducted in those places. When it got late, INEC on their own decided that those elections would not hold, that they would suspend the election to the next day. And the next day they said no because the people were not well informed and mobilized that the election would not be on Monday because the election was on 25th, 26th there was an announcement that there was going to be a supplementary election. INEC on its own also came up and said no, this supplementary election will not be on Monday. People were getting ready. INEC was ready deploying materials and people and result was announced. How can you reconcile that? Have you made an official complaint about that? First, let me tell you, the announcement was made by INEC. The record, the video, the tape is there. It's not that I made a complaint, INEC. But when that happened, they didn't keep to their word. I wrote a petition hoping that INEC will use the seven-day uh, window for window. Review. For review. We only had an acknowledgement, nothing happened. One day, two days, seven days, as I speak, nothing has happened. And we have no option than to go to uh, um, tribunal. I saw you at the tribunal. Oh, yes, sure. You are challenging the, the outcome of the election. Definitely. Do you think that you won that election? Well, I wouldn't want to use the word I won because it was very clear that I campaigned vigorously. It was very...